Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfectionitis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our microbiology and infectious diseases playlist. In previous videos, we talked about Listeria monocytogenes. Today, we'll learn how to diagnose and treat Listeriosis, a condition of Listeria. Food poisoning and gastroenteritis, check. Granulomatosis infantiseptica, also check. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. Listeria is a gram-positive rod, non-spore-forming, aerobic, and motile. This is why they call it Listeria. These are the characteristics of Listeria, and these are the diseases caused by Listeria, as we have discussed in previous videos. Pathogenesis is here. Remember three things. Lysis of your phagolysosome, replication of the bacteria, and directional movement thanks to act A, which assembles your actin, causing actin rockets. These are the diseases caused by listeria. We have flu-like illness, gastroenteritis, we have granulomatosis infantiseptica, we have disseminated abscesses and disseminated granulomas, we have meningitis or meningoencephalitis, and septicemia. How can we diagnose Listeria? By microscopy, it's a gram-positive rod. But unfortunately, when it's Listeria meningitis, you cannot use gram stain on the CSF sample. Why not? Because usually, the level of Listeria is so low, the concentration is so low, way beneath the threshold of detection, i.e. below 10 to the fourth power bacterial cells in your CSF. Please be careful. Just because you found a gram-positive rod in the CSF doesn't necessarily mean this is Listeria. It could be Corynebacteria. You also need to distinguish Listeria from Streptococcus pneumonia and Enterococci. How come? Listeria is beta-hemolytic, Streptnomo is alpha-hemolytic, Enterococcus is gamma-hemolytic. Moreover, Listeria is a rod, but pneumococci and enterococci are cocci. You can culture it on non-selective media or selective media with cold enrichment. Remember that listeria can grow in cold temperature, especially in your refrigerator. When you add listeria, which is beta-hemolytic, to staph aureus, which is beta-hemolytic together, they enhance each other and the zone of the hemolysis of staph aureus will get bigger and bigger and bigger after we add listeria. We call this the positive CAMP test. Identification by biochemical techniques such as pulsed field gel electrophoresis. We need to differentiate listeria monocytogenes, which causes human diseases, from other forms of listeria that do not cause human diseases. Some pearls for the pros. CAMPs in medicine. There is cyclic AMP with a lower case C, and there are three camps. There is the cathelicide and antimicrobial peptides. There is the CAMP test and the CAMP factor, which you can test for using the CAMP test. It stands for the persons who discovered it or invented it. Kristen Atkins munch peterson test. If you remember my previous videos, the CAMP factors are released by streptococci. How can we treat listeria? We have general empiric therapy, Again, ampicillin plus gentamicin, as we have discussed in many videos with many organisms. Do cephalosporins cover listeria? No, because cephalosporins are lame. They do not cover listeria, they do not cover enterococci and others, as we'll discuss in subsequent videos. If the medications failed, we have other options, such as TMP-SMX. How does TMP-SMX work? Well, it's the sequential block. SMX blocks dihydropteruate synthase. TMP blocks dihydrofolate reductase. If this is blocked and this is blocked, the bacteria will not be able to make DNA or RNA. The bacteria will not be able to replicate go to hell listeria. If you like this video, you will enjoy my antibiotics course, which will teach you about antibiotics, including penicillins, syphilosporins, vancomycin, daptomycin, lenizolid, etc. You can download it today at medicosisperfectionitis.com. I also have a new surgery high yields course and another emergency medicine high yields at medicosisperfectionitis.com. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionitis, where medicine makes perfect sense.